As a kid, my dad used to bring me to this lake. The lake's changed quite a lot. But one thing's for sure, my passion as a kid hasn't changed. That'll do, my first carp from this lake in over 25 years. I like the term entrepreneur, and I do like to think I've got a bit of that in me. You know, I've always think, oh, I could turn a profit on that. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be fishing gear, but it becomes easy if you love something. I was on eBay just trolling through and I found a shop for sale up in Doncaster. I thought, I'm gonna have a punt at that. And I had no money, like nothing. Jumped in a van, drove all the way up to Doncaster, waited the guy out with a load of cash and had loads and loads of stock. I had nowhere to put it. So I literally just brought it back home and then my bedroom become like, you open the door and you're like shimmying in, you know, it's just boxes galore. As a kid, my dad used to bring me to this lake when I was about six or seven years old. In actual fact, I caught my very first fish only 70 yards over in that direction. The lake's changed quite a lot. Uh, new swims, loads of trees have been cut down. But one thing's for sure, my passion as a kid hasn't changed. And I love it as much now as I did back then. Through the, through the nut section. Well, you know I'm into my particle on that. I thought I'd take it to a, another level by making a little mix up and eating it myself. So in here, there is cashews, sultanas, raisins, peanuts, almonds. These little bad boys. And yeah, that's a neat. Edamame bean, isn't it? So I buy the salted, the spiced beans and I mix in all the cranberries and stuff like that. And it makes the ultimate high protein and nutritional snack. Get on it. Chickpeas as well, forgot about them. So fishing is a collective for me. Um, I think initially it started off as the nature side, being outside, loving it, the excitement, um, socialising with your friends, because that's where it started. We all used to fish as kids together and had some amazing times and built some amazing friendships around fishing. And I think it is everything. It's, it's being outside, it's the fresh air, it's seeing stuff that you would never normally see in everyday life. And obviously, that incorporates into me running a business in the industry. So it goes hand in hand. It's, uh, it's my passion, um, not just carp, for all types of angling. It's the nature, it's the countryside, and I'm lucky enough to, that it's my job as well, you know? So I get to mix in it every single day, and it's, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very thankful for it. I, I, love, I love the fact I can share my business with fishing. Um, and coming here today, I was excited, you know, like that will never stop. You know, that started when I was a kid and it never stopped. So how lucky are we to do stuff like that? You know, it's brilliant. So obviously fishing weedy waters you need the extra length and sometimes when you're wading out as far as you can you're still quite not long enough. So this bad boy, like I say this is definitely one of my best prized possessions. Once you go long you never go wrong and what's better than one extra large landing net than two extra large landing nets flying the flags. Proper. 
Everyone always comments on my nets. They always go, Christ, is your net handle long enough or what? But I'm not even joking when I say I can't even use a standard six foot handle anymore. Can't even do it. Just want to net them like straight away before anything like bad happens and they come off like right at the net. At least with that, you've got like a three foot advantage compared to other nets. So that's my biggest tip. Get long landing handles. Save those hook pulls, lastminute.com.